Looking at this TXV, this is a non-bleed TXV. So what is a non-bleed TXV? What that means is when this thing shuts off, when the compressor shuts down, this needle valve closes completely. There is no connection through this valve between the high side and the low side on this valve when the unit shuts off. So what does that mean? It means the head pressure will stay high and the suction pressure will stay low. They won't equalize. They'll go to saturated for whatever environment they're in. Uh, outside will say is hot and so it'll go to saturated out there. The refrigerant will go to saturated out there and inside if it's cooler the refrigerant goes satur saturated there. Well, what does that do to us? That does not allow the compressor to start easily because there's a head pressure on the high side and it has to start against that. Most PSC compressors won't start against that kind of pressure difference. So what do we do? We'll put a hard start kit on it. And so with a non-bleed TXV, you're going to need a hard start kit. Now, if this were a bleed TXV, that would mean there would be some connection between this body here, which is a low side evaporating gas, and the high side, which is right here, liquid. There would have to be something there, a tiny hole in this body that went from the high side to the low side, or something like that. This doesn't have anything like this. All it's got is the equalizing tube, and I'm not sure the equalizing tube will move enough refrigerant to make any difference. If I have a bleed TXV, I can use a PSC compressor. If I don't have a bleed TXV, I'm going to need to use a hard start kit on the compressor to get it to start. That's really all it means. If you have a fixed orifice device, it's a different ball game. Uh, it equalizes in the off cycle and you can use a PSC. But a non-bleed TXV, you can't do it. Hope this one makes sense.